In today's video, we're going to discuss the biggest catches of all time. Sort of like this fish that's so protected you can't even lift it out for a quick picture. Or this one that would make you fear getting skewered. First though, let's begin with a creature so overfished that its numbers have drastically declined. The Blue Shark Blue sharks, also called the Great Blue Sharks, are part of the Requiem family and are typically found in tropical and temperate oceans. It's named the way it is due to its attractive counter-shaded hue, having deep blue skin on top which goes lighter around its sides until it becomes white at its underside. It also has a slim body, pointed snout, saw-edged teeth, and long, slim pectoral fins. Usually adult blue sharks measure about 5.6 to 7.2 feet long. However, some may grow up to measure 13.1 feet in length and weigh nearly 454 pounds. The biggest one of them all, though, was caught by a man named Joe Sadal on August 9, 2001 at Montauk Point, USA. The specimen that he had caught was evaluated to weigh 528 pounds. It took Joe about 2 hours and 35 minutes to reel it in with his 80-pound line. I didn't even know lines could be that strong, actually. Sadly, blue sharks are the most heavily fished shark in the entire world. Millions of them are taken annually, not because of their meat, which is actually a low in value, but because of their fins, which are kept and entered into the international shark fin trade. The Sandbar Shark Sandbar sharks are one of the most common species of sharks swimming along the U.S. Atlantic coast. They're named the way they are because they prefer sandy ocean bottoms. Sometimes, because of their color, people also call them brown sharks. They're identifiable thanks to their relatively heavy body, short rounded snout, large dorsal and pectoral fins, as well as their swimming pattern as well. Usually this shark measures about 6 feet long and weighs about 110 to 150 pounds. Because of their high fin to body weight ratios, these sharks have been targeted and overexploited by many anglers. Still, because of their long growth and reproduction cycle, this species is earning selected protected status in many areas they appear in. This Conservation Act is helpful as the sandbar plays an essential role in fisheries along the eastern side of the U.S. Surprisingly, however, the biggest of the bunch wasn't caught in the States. It was actually at Guinea-Bissau. On May 5, 2002, Patrick Sabil caught the largest of them all, a sandbar that weighed a whopping 529 pounds. It took the guy about an hour and five minutes to actually wrestle it onto his boat. The Narrow Tooth Shark The Narrow Tooth Shark, also called the Bronze Whaler or Copper Shark, is also a species of Requiem Shark and the only member of its genus that can be mainly found at temperate latitudes such as Australia and New Zealand. Oftentimes, these sharks may swim from brackish rivers and estuaries to shallow bays and arbors to waters 330 feet deep. However, because of how sensitive this shark is to the salinity of the water around it, they may migrate around. Admittedly, it is difficult to distinguish this breed from its other relatives, but it's characterized by its narrow, hook-shaped teeth. They also lack a prominent ridge between the dorsal fins and also have bronze coloration. Reportedly, this shark can reach a maximum length of 11 feet and weighs 672 pounds, which is pretty huge for something that size. The largest of them caught, though, was not as big as the shark's maximum estimates, and it isn't something to scoff at. January 9, 1993, Gay Harrison Armstrong captured a bronze whaler that weighed 533 pounds and 8 ounces. She used an 81.5 pound line and hauled the giant sea animal to land off Cape Karakari, New Zealand. Gotta know what her secret is, because that's a pretty hefty catch. The Goliath Grouper The Goliath Grouper is one of the largest species of bony fish. Native to South Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Bahamas, among other places, this fish is one of the most sought-after marine animals. A Goliath grouper is long and thick. It can reach up to 8 feet long and weigh as heavy as 800 pounds. Today, due to this fish's popularity, the Goliath grouper is protected under federal law and cannot be captured or killed for whatever reason. It's actually so conserved that you can't even lift it out of the water for photographs. Ugh. This fish is also not friendly. I mean, if the video of it eating sharks isn't enough to convince you, then data suggests that the bigger ones of this species have tried hunting and attacking humans. Or even try to eat them if they're so compelled. The largest specimen of this species ever captured was caught by Lynn Joyner on May 20th, 1961, at Fernandina Beach, Florida, USA. The Goliath grouper was evaluated to weigh 680 pounds. Honestly, at least it didn't fall into the water. Would have been one intense wrestling match otherwise. 
Silky Shark. Silky Sharks, more commonly known as Reef Sharks, measure up to 11.5 feet in length and 763 pounds in weight. This creature has a lifespan of about 23 years. Silky Sharks are characterized by their long, flat snouts, large eyes, and small serrated teeth. Their second dorsal fin can be found low on their body, and they also have a long rear tip. These sharks were given their name due to their smooth hides and thanks to their densely packed dermal denticles as well. Dermal denticles, for those who are wondering, are the scales covering shark skin. Anyway, the largest one of this species caught weighed 762 pounds and 12 ounces. It happened on February 26, 1994, off Port Stephens, NSW, Australia. The man who managed to drag it to land is Bryce Henderson, and it took him about an hour and 30 minutes to achieve this feat. Thankfully, he was able to win this tussle, and personally, I'd be scared of what could have happened had he somehow stumbled into the water, as Silky is notorious for being aggressive and dangerous. Great for him, though, that he was able to take it out. The Dusky Shark Dusky Sharks are another species found within the Requiem Shark genus. These sharks prefer temperate to tropical waters, and they have large bodies, typically gray with dusky margins on their fins, hence their name. Similar to a few other sharks on this list, the duskies are a crucial fishery resource because of how they're fit for human consumption, how they can be used for leather, and how they can be made into liver oil. Aside from that, they're also targeted due to their highly valued fins. Typically, a dusky shark reaches 14 feet in length and 765 pounds in weight. The largest of their species caught weighed almost the maximum estimation at 764 pounds. It was captured by Warren Girl at Longboat Key, Florida, USA on May 28, 1982. There are no records of how long it took him to bring it to land. However, given its size, I believe it would have taken him an hour or two at least. Sadly, this species is already part of the IUCN Red List. Because of how valuable this shark is and how slow its growth rate is, the Dusky has been overexploited, despite there being prohibitions placed since the 2000s. Thresher Shark Thresher Sharks are large mackerel sharks found in temperate and tropical oceans of the world. Usually they don't appear to be threats to humans, unless you annoy them as this man did. Ooh, that is one harsh slap there, buddy. Anyways, these sharks may reach a length of 20 feet and weigh over about 1,100 pounds. Threshers are fairly slender, with small dorsal fins and large recurved pectoral fins. Not including the big eye thresher, these sharks have small eyes positioned to the forward of the head. Their skin color ranges from brown, blue, to purplish gray. Now, onward to the main question. How big was the largest thresher ever caught? Well, I'm so glad that you asked. It was about 767 pounds when captured by D.L. Hanna on February 26, 1983 at the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. With the help of a kawaii bait and 53 pounds tackle, Hannah was able to bring this to shore and bag the room record. Like other sharks on this list, thrushes are highly vulnerable to overfishing, especially since they're prized game fish in America and South Africa. Because of this, though, thrushes have been listed as vulnerable to extinction by the World Conservation Union since 2007. The Big Eye Thresher Shark Well, it sounds like the same shark from the last entry. The Big Eye Thresher is a different species altogether. Also found in temperate and tropical oceans worldwide, the Big Eye Threshers get their name thanks to their enormous eyes placed in keyhole-shaped sockets. This allows them to be rotated upward as well. Aside from that, though, you can identify Big Eye Threshers by the deep pair of grooves on the top of its head. Unlike what you may think, the difference between these guys isn't purely cosmetic. The large eyes of this fish, which can measure up to 3.9 inches across, are adapted for hunting in low-light conditions. It's one of the few sharks that stays deep underwater during the day and only moves to the surface to feed at night. Typically smaller than regular threshers, these guys measure up to 13.1 feet in length and 350 pounds in weight. It's kind of a surprise then for most of us to learn that the largest specimen of it caught weighed a massive 802 pounds. It was caught by a lady named Diane North at Tutukaka, New Zealand on February 8, 1981. It took North 3 hours and 45 minutes to reel it to land and... Man, just what did that shark eat, seriously? Pacific Bluefin Tuna If we thought tuna was simply preying fish, we were wrong. Though we love eating it, tunas are actually predators, as is the case with this Pacific Bluefin Tuna. The Pacific Bluefin Tuna is a predatory species found in the northern Pacific Ocean, though there are some recordings of it visiting the South Pacific as well. It can reach measurements up to 9.8 feet in length and 990 pounds in weight. 
This fish can also be identified by its black or blue body with gray-green iridescence and silver or gray undersides. On top of that, it also has second dorsal tail fins, which are yellow with black edges. The world record for the biggest captured Pacific bluefin tuna was given to Donna Pasco, a New Zealand angler. On February 19, 2014, at Three Kings, New Zealand, Pasco, armed with her pole and 130-pound line, reeled the 907-pound fish back in, breaking the original record by 130 pounds. Took her 4 hours and 11 minutes, but she was able to capture the fish because of her patience and determination. You can actually see her record at the IGFA database. The Broadbill Swordfish the broadbill swordfish are known and named for their long, sword-like bill that extends the front part of their body, which they use to stun and kill prey. Aside from that, they also have long cylindrical bodies that, similar to other fish on this list, fade from a brownish hue on the back to lightly brown on the underside. Its first dorsal fin is usually black, and adults of this species lack scales, teeth, and pelvic fins. Usually, this fish grows to 9.8 feet and weighs 330 pounds, though some of the larger variants grow to be as big as 15 feet and get as heavy as 1,102 pounds. Big difference, am I right? That doesn't prepare us for the whopper that Louise Marin caught on May 7, 1953, on the shores of Laquique, Chile. Marin, with his bonito bait, piqued the entrance of this swordfish. After he felt the giant snag onto his line, the angler fought for an hour and 55 until he managed to reel it back in. Even though it's been decades now, nobody's actually been able to trump his record. Mako Shark Mako Sharks are fast, active, and dangerous sharks of the mackerel shark family. The short fin variants can be found in all tropical and temperate seas, while the long fin Makos are scattered in tropical seas worldwide. They're characterized by their relatively slender bodies, pointed snouts, crescent-shaped tails, and long teeth. Their colors goes from blue-gray to deep blue sides to, finally, white undersides. The largest of this species have been estimated to reach 14.8 feet in length and exceed 1,100 pounds in weight. You know what? Luke Sweeney proved these numbers accurate on July 21, 2001 when he caught a giant mako shark. This shark weighed 1221 pounds and was brought to shore at Chatham, Massachusetts, USA. As in the previous entry, he used a bonito as a bait. Unfortunately, however, there is no article I could find which lists how long he struggled before he could bring this monster to shore. Whatever the case, wow. One of these days, those sharks are going to outsmart our anglers and avoid bonitos altogether. Everyone and everything can learn patterns, am I right? Hammerhead Shark The Hammerhead Shark is part of the family Spherinidae, due to their unusual and distinctive heads, which, as its name suggests, are hammer-shaped. Many species are under the hammerhead tag. Some are placed in the Sphyrna genus, while others, such as the winghead, are set in their own genus, the Euspira. These sharks can be found in warmer waters along coastlines and continental shelves. Unlike most sharks, this species swims in schools during the day, but ought to be solo hunters at night. They also have light gray bodies, which have a greenish tint. Their bellies are white, which allows them to blend into the background as well. Hammerheads typically grow to be 19 feet and 8 inches in length and weigh 1,300 pounds. With some fishing luck and a whole lot of skill, a man named Bucky Dennis was able to bag a shark near its maximum size off the coast of Boca Grande, Florida, USA. On May 23, 2006, Grande, ready with his stingray bait, reeled in this hammerhead after five hours of struggle. That's some excellent fishing if you ask me. The Six Gill Shark the six-gill shark is a common deepwater creature. It's also one of the largest sharks that eat prey other than plankton. It's named the way it is because it has six gill slits, unlike other sharks, which only have five. Interestingly enough, this species is one of the few surviving members of the Hexanachidae family, and is closely related to species found only in fossils. Some of its relatives even date back to over 200 million years ago. Six gills have heavy but powerful bodies with a round, blunt snout. It's only got one dorsal fin, and its color ranges from tan to gray to even black. Their eyes are also fluorescent green. These sharks can measure up to 18 feet in length and weigh an average of 1,102 pounds. On November 21, 2002, at Ascension Island, Atlantic Ocean, Clemens Rump won the world record of catching the biggest six-gill shark. The animal weighed 1,298 pounds and was lured by an undescribed dead bait. Makes you wonder just how deep that line was, as these sharks are usually found 590 to 3,610 feet below the surface. Yeah, whatever the case, pretty awe-inducing for what he was able to do. The 
Pacifica Blue Marlin. For how delicious these things are on our dinner plates, catching a Pacific Blue Marlin is a dance with injury. Pacific Blue Marlins are one of the fastest fish in the ocean and have spear-like beaks to inflict severe injuries on their prey and their predators. This lists include anglers, just if you were wondering. Despite their elongated bodies and bluish hue, this species is usually mistaken for the black marlin. However, a trained eye can easily distinguish the Pacific Blue by its highly elevated nape. Pacific Blues, on average, tend to hover around 11 feet in length and weigh anywhere from 200 to 400 pounds. That being said, it was observed that some of this species grew to be as long as 16 feet and weigh as heavy as 1,800 pounds. The world record for the biggest Pacific Blue Marlin caught is currently held by J.D. Bubin, who caught this delicacy on May 31, 1982 at Kauai Point, Kona, Hawaii, using a Kita lure. That's a lot of sashimi to go around. Sadly, due to its fantastic taste, its population has significantly declined because of overfishing. Despite this, people still capture them for food, regardless if they're gonna die or not. The Atlantic Blue Marlin Okay, I know what you're thinking. This entry isn't gonna be any different from the last, now is it? After all, how different can Blue Marlins be? Well, as much as I'd like to counter your argument, it's kinda true that the Atlantic Blue and Pacific Blue are closely related. However, authorities still consider both species very distinct. So, unless that changes anytime soon, we're gonna have to deal with them being separate. Like the Pacific Blue Marlins, Atlantic Blue Marlins have bills they use to stun, injure, or kill prey. They're a popular game fish, and because of the high fat content of its meat, it makes it commercially valuable in the markets. This blue marlin specifically is distributed throughout the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. According to records, the maximum published weight of one is 1,803 pounds and 16 feet long. The largest ever caught, though, is a little lower than that. Paulo Amorim at Vitoria, Brazil on February 29, 2002 caught an Atlantic blue marlin that weighed 1,402 pounds bit smaller, but still respectable. He actually used a Moldcraft lure and reeled it in after it got hooked. It's been a few decades since, but still nobody's booted him off of that record throne. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Could you have guessed that one of the world's favorite dishes happens to occupy the fifth spot in the biggest fish ever caught? Eh, probably actually. That being said, the Atlantic Bluefin Tuna. Here's another one for the tuna category, but this time we're looking at its Atlantic relative. The Atlantic bluefin tuna, formerly known as the tunny, is native to the western and eastern Atlantic oceans and the Mediterranean Sea. It's actually closely related to a previous entry on this list, the Pacific bluefin tuna and the southern bluefin tuna. This tuna has been the foundation of one of the world's most lucrative commercial fisheries. It's heavily targeted by the Japanese raw fish market, which highly prizes its meat for sushi and sashimi. Atlantic bluefin tunas have been recorded to weigh up to 1,500 pounds. Aside from being a food source, though, this fish has displayed power as an apex predator. This, in turn, attracts the admiration of fishers, scientists, and, shockingly enough, riders. The largest ever caught happens to be about 1,496 pounds, just four minutes short of its maximum weight. Ken Fraser captured it at Alds Cove, Nova Scotia, Canada on October 26, 1979. Frazier used a mackerel for bait and fought it to bring it to land, earning him a spot on the IGFA database. The Black Marlin Did you think we were done with the marlin? Not yet. The Black Marlin is a marlin found in tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It's one of the largest bony fish, with a maximum published length of 15.3 feet and a weight of 1,650 pounds. Despite its size, it's among the fastest fish, having an actual burst speed of 22 miles an hour. They're fished commercially, and much like their brethren, they're also highly prized game fish. While we heard of a giant black marlin being caught by a man named Rob Crane in Queensland, Australia just a few years ago, a catch with a weight of 1,433 pounds, it's actually not the biggest black marlin ever caught. Certainly close, though. This incredible record actually belongs to Alfred Lassell Jr., who caught the marlin over half a century ago on August 4, 1953 at Cabo Blanco, Peru. Lassell Jr. used mackerel for bait and won the major tussle against the 1,560-pound black marlin. To this day, though people have gotten close, such as Mr. Crane, nobody's actually topped this record just yet. And it's looking likely that it never will be. The Greenland Shark and back to sharks we go. 
The Greenland shark is a member of the Somnus Day sleep shark family and is the longest living vertebrate known. This species can be found in the Arctic Ocean and North Atlantic's cold water environments, though it extends southward to the North Sea and the waters near the eastern seaboard of America. This shark can be distinguished by its bulky body, rounded snout, small fins, and greater brown coloration. They're actually similar to their relatives, the spiny dogfish, except they lack a spine in front of their second dorsal fin and usually on the first dorsal fin as well. This fish can reach a length of 23 feet and weigh about 2,260 pounds. Pretty gargantuan, right? Any angler would have a difficult time reeling this one in. However, on October 18, 1987, Turge Nordvet somehow caught one that weighed 1,708 pounds and 9 ounces. He used a herring for bait and brought it to shore at Trondheimfjord. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but either way, it's in Norway. Beats me how he had the arm strength to tug that thing back to land, but all I know is it must have been sore for days afterward. The Tiger Shark The Tiger Shark is another member of the Requiem family. It's a huge mackerel predator in many tropical and temperate waters, especially around the Central Pacific Islands. It's named Tiger Shark because of the dark stripes down its body, which reminds us of a tiger. Though this pattern fades as the shark matures for the most part. It prefers its solitude and is primarily a nocturnal hunter and eats various bits of food. However, because of that trait, it's also in the reputation of a garbage eater as it consumes inedible manufactured objects that eventually linger in its stomach for large periods of time. These sharks commonly achieve a length of 13 feet and 11 inches and weigh around 386 to 1400 pounds. Don't let that fool you though, they aren't too big. Granted though, some female sharks can reportedly measure up to 16 feet and 5 inches and weigh more than 2,000 pounds. I guess we know what gender a shark Kevin James Clapson caught on March 4, 2004 then, over at Ulladula, Australia. The tiger shark was reported to weigh 1785 pounds and 11 ounces. Possibly if it were pregnant, it would have actually weighed more. Regardless, it's the second biggest catch in the entire friggin' world. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, he does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. White Shark Last but not least, everybody's most feared shark, the Great White. The White Shark is a species of large mackerel shark that can be found in the surface waters of all major oceans. Known for their size and certain female individuals growing up to 20 feet in length and 5,000 pounds in weight and maturity, these guys are pretty big to say the least. Most of these fish, however, are smaller, as males measure up to 13 feet, while more common females grow to 16 feet on average. The Great White is an apex predator with no known predators, other than the orca. Everyone's prey to the orca. Partially because of that, a Great White's lifespan is estimated to be as long as 70 years or more, making it one of the longest-lived cartilaginous fishes. That said though, white sharks are not immune to anglers. On April 21st, 1959, Alfred Dean caught the biggest fish in world record. At Taduna, Australia, Dean hooked a 2,664 pound white shark with his porpoise bait. Amazingly, he actually beat it in only 50 minutes, snagging and securing his spot as one of the best anglers in the world. Despite it having been several decades though, nobody's yet topped his achievement. See you all next time!